Five Oak Ridge National Lab is trying to make larger container ships greener. Researchers say large container ships account for about 80% of the world's shipping and produce 3% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. Ten News reporter Vinay Simlot explains how the National Lab is working to change the fuel sources. Vinay? And John, I want to show you how a diesel engine works right now. The fuel is injected, it gets compressed, there's a spark, and that's what turns the engine. Now researchers are trying to see how much of the diesel fuel that goes into this chamber can be replaced with methanol. You may know about methane. It's a gas cows and sometimes people release. Methanol is closely related. Scientists at Oak Ridge want to use it as a different kind of gas. How do you work with this engine and this type of geometry and, and make it work well with methanol? It's a new project with the engine company Caterpillar. You may know them as the company that makes construction equipment. They're trying to replace as much of the diesel fuel in this large container ship engine. Methanol is not a very good fuel for diesel engines. But scientists say it's better for the environment. Depending on the engine's design, it can reduce the amount of greenhouse gases and soot it releases. And the Department of Energy says it's cheaper, safer, and easier to produce. There's just many paths to get to methanol. As companies roll out electric cars and charging stations, these researchers say the size and weight of batteries don't make it a good option on ships. At the end of the day, for right now anyway, space is limited on these boats. And Caterpillar wants the methanol engines to replace the diesel engines on ships right now. The engine in itself is, is very similar to um, a diesel engine uh, that you have in operation today. They say methanol is a good next step to sustainable shipping. Some will say maybe this is a bridge, but I would say if it's a sustainable fuel, it's, it's not only a bridge, it could be part of the future as well. And those researchers say they hope within the next few years they'll have an idea on how more of those large container ships can use methanol as a fuel. They're not quite ready to roll it out to ships out there right now, John. Vinay Simlot on the story. Thank you, Vinay.